Welcome back to the All-Star Tournament Expert Division Weekend Round Hole Number 2. Here we're going to be playing a Goliath Double Bounce Rough Bump. I do have a, another option. If you don't like this one, I'll be posting a second option after this. Uh, this shot here can be played with win 3, 4, or 5, but definitely recommend playing it with a win 5. As we all know, hole 2 and hole 8 are very finicky. So the more wind resistance and precision that you have, uh, the better your chance is at a drop. E1 plus 5% max. Make sure that you're pulling this with a 1201 favor. What I would tell you is the pull angle is very important on this one. So watch carefully at the pull angle here and try your best to mimic it. Uh, it's a little more than a 1201 flicker, but not quite a true 1201. And so what you want to do with spin added, you want to push the ball guide up through the center of the hole, and then you'll pull it back until you see the ball guide click to the right. When it clicks to the right, that's where you want to be as far as the uh, up-down goes. And then if it's not already sitting just outside the right edge of the cup, then you'll need to shift it left or right until it is aimed just outside the right edge of the cup or just at the right edge of the cup. So, I mean, this one here is pointing right at the edge, but you can be just outside the edge. So, you know, anywhere in this little range. Ideally, what we're looking for is to be just a click outside the right edge of the cup. Once you get that, there are some wind angle tweaks, but they're minor on this one. Uh, so for wind angles, we've broken it down into three major wind angles. We've got a tailwind, a neutral, and a crosswind angle. And we're using these two trees here as our reference points. So anything inside the trees, we're going to consider neutral. Anything left of the trees is considered tailwind, and then right of the trees is our crosswind angle. If you have the tailwind angle, you need to add 0.1 to the adjustment. There's no change in the neutral angle, and in the crosswind angle, you will take 0.1 off of the adjustment. So if you're using a side spin two ball, which is recommended at least to, to set the spins, then you'll add your, you know, it's recommended that you add the side spin and then you can add your top spin. You want to pass up the eight line and then come back to it. Uh, if you're using, you know, a three side spin ball, then I would recommend adding the top spin first. then add your right spin, pass up the two right, and then come back to it. As the, the side spin is a touch more important to get correct than the top spin, right? So that's why I'm saying add your top spin first and then add your side spin if you're not using a two side spin ball. Besides that, Goliath 6 and 7 can play the shot, but your ball guide is going to be much shorter and your references are most likely going to change. So you're going to have to kind of look at the second bounce and maybe even the third bounce or halfway down the ball guide to try and get yourself a line because you're probably not going to get the ball guide all the way to the hole for lower level Goliaths. But beyond that, Good chance at a drop doing the double bounce rough bump here on hole number two. So I wish you all the best of luck. Hope you get the drop. And we'll see you on the next one.